Hi everyone! Today I'm here in a different location. Um, I am in a room which is going to be my book room or book corner. I'm kind of working on it so I've got two of my shelves here. This, These books are my husband's books so you can ignore them. They will be going somewhere else because I have one this area just to be my own area. Also if you can hear the rain I do apologise unless you find it therapeutic or relaxing because it's really raining outside really hard. So I hope that's alright but quick cozy for me actually. I wish I made myself a drink but never mind. This video is going to be something I've never really done before. I don't even know what to call it but as you could probably see from the title or from the thumbnail it yeah, I'm going to be talking about Elizabeth McNeil's books. And that was inspired by Bath Festival. From the 17th to the 23rd of May, I believe, there was Bath Festival in Bath, obviously. It was a book and music festival. I attended two different events. I attended the Frankenstein walking tour, and that was um, going to places where Mary Shelley mostly wrote Frankenstein, which was in Bath. And the second one happened on Saturday, and that was... Um, another book event in which Elizabeth McNeil was talking about her new book which is Circus of Wonders. So I'm just going to talk about the experience of doing that for the first time ever in my life, attending something like this, and then just talk about her book as well. It was a really interesting experience for me to go to an event like this because I've never done anything like this in my life. I was always put off um, to go there because there are a lot of people but this time I just decided, right, I'm going. And it was actually fine. I really enjoyed it. Elizabeth is such a lovely human being. Oh my god, she's so lovely. She kept smiling all the time. She was so happy about her books. She's amazing. And now I know for sure, um, whenever she writes anything, I'm just going to buy it and gobble it up. That's how I feel about her. It was really nice to hear her talk about her book, how passionate she was about it, how she, the thought process that she had when she was writing a book, all of that, like writing process, I find really fascinating to the point that I think I realised I want to work in that kind of environment. I'm not sure exactly what I wanted to do, but working with publishers or authors or a bookshop, that might be my dream job. Um, so yeah, that's what I realised whilst being there. I even asked her a question which was interesting to actually speak to the author whose book you've loved and then them talking back at you. It was it was amazing. I've never experienced it before so it was lovely. I would love to go to more book events in the future. But now let's talk about her books. So um, I got two copies of the same book. So we've got The Doll, Doll Factory. We've got The Hardback that I read, I think it was 2019 even. Yeah, this book was published in 2019, so I read this edition and loved it. But then after the event they were selling uh, books by Mr B's Emporium, which I've mentioned on this channel a lot of the times. So I've been there now actually, I love the shop, it's amazing. But yeah, they were because they were kind of like partners for Bath Festival, they were there, so they were selling signed copies of the same books. And I bought this signed paperback of the Doll Factory because I didn't have a signed copy, unfortunately. Waterstones took forever to reply to my email when I wanted to exchange my pre-order to a signed copy. I sent it three weeks before it was supposed to be released. They never came back to me. They came back to me after it was sent to me, so I kind of decided not to bother ever again. But there we go. I've got her signature. So I got a paperback copy as well, which is lovely. After listening to her, after listening to her speak about her books, I now really want to reread this one, which might happen in the future, and I'll have to decide whether I want to read the paperback or the hardback. So we've got a very pretty cover. Sorry, it's being reflected. My light's being reflected, um, but it's also really pretty on the inside. So this one was her debut novel. I am going to read you the um, description because it sounds beautiful and if I try to explain it myself I'm going to ruin it so we're going to have to go with that. London 1850. The greatest spectacle the city has ever seen is being built in Hyde Park and among the crowd watching two people meet. For Iris and inspiring artists it is the encounter of a moment forgotten seconds later but for Silas a collector entranced by the strange and beautiful that meeting marks a new beginning. When Iris is asked to model for pre-Raphaelite artist Louis Frost, 
She agrees on the condition that he will also teach her to paint. Suddenly her world begins to expand to become a place of art and love. But Silas has only thought of one thing since their meeting, and his obsession is darkening. Rich and evocative, The Doll Factor is a mesmerising novel set amidst the vivid chaos of Victorian London. It is a passionate love story and a thrilling tale of one woman's determination to break free. Like I said, and like you've already probably gathered from rambling, I really love this book. I even mentioned it in my favourite historical fiction video. If you want to have a look, I will leave the link to it down below. I really love this book. The atmosphere especially was amazing. She's done a lot of research on that time period in London. It was incredibly beautiful. The writing style was absolutely fantastic. It was, I could not put this book down. I thought it was absolutely brilliant, beautiful. The plot was so like intricate, I guess. And I loved everything about it. Silas, the character that I don't think you're supposed to be signing with, um, I found him quite fascinating. I found his point of view really interesting and really fascinating, even though disturbing. Um, but it was definitely unusual to read a book from a perspective of a person as he is, but definitely, definitely interesting. Um, I did like the plot as well. I, do, It's just everything about this book. I absolutely love this book. I would love to reread it one day, like I said. So next we're moving on to Circus of Wonders, which I have not read. It was only published in May a couple of weeks ago, I want to say, or last week can't remember exactly but it is another beautiful book it's not as pretty on the inside but apparently there have been a few special editions that if I knew about it at the time I would have gotten those copies rather than this one but I'm still happy to have this because it's one by one of my favorite authors again I'm sorry I have to read you the blurb of this book because 1866. In a coastal village in southern England, Nell picks violets for a living. She set apart from her community because of the birthmarks that speckle her skin. Nell's world is her beloved brother and devotion to the sea. But when Jasper Jupiter's Circus of Wonders arrives in the village, Nell is kidnapped. Her father has sold her, promising Jasper Jupiter his very own leopard girl. It is the greatest betrayal of Nell's life. But as her fame grows and she finds friendship with the other performers and Jasper's gentle brother, Toby, she begins to wonder if joining the show is the best thing that has ever happened to her. In London, newspapers describe Nell as the eighth wonder of the world. Figurines are cast in her image and crowds rush to watch her soar through the air. But who gets to tell Nell's story? What happens when her fame threatens to eclipse that of the showman who bought her? And as she falls in love with Toby, can he detach himself from his past and the terrible secret that binds him to his brother? Moving from the pleasure gardens of Victorian London to the battle-scarred plains of the Crimea, Circus of Wonders is an astonishing story about power and ownership, fame and the threats of invisibility. So this sounds like, it sounds incredible to me. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. And I would just gobble up this book. I wanted to start it straight away after the event, but when we came home, there was Eurovision on TV that we didn't know was actually happening. But we found out and started watching it, so it never happened. And then I had to start the book club book, otherwise I would not be able to finish it by Sunday. So I had to do that, which I'm actually really enjoying at the moment. But this one's definitely gonna be my next read because I think after hearing the author talk about her book made me so excited to read it. I don't think anything gets you as excited as actually listening to the author who's written the book, how she was describing her characters, how she was describing the atmosphere, how much research went into things and how she sometimes kept changing her mind. It was really fascinating. So now I'm super excited for this book and I do already think I'm gonna love it again. And like I said, Elizabeth McNeil is now one of those authors that whatever she writes, I'm going to just buy it. And her th third novel, she said, is so going to be something to do with Cemetery, again, set in um, 1800s, which sounds super amazing to me. So I already can't wait, even though I've not read this one. But again, like I said, I'm just going to read it straight after I finish the Switch, the book club book novel. But... I'm so happy to have these books in my possession and they are just so precious to me because I love the author. Now I've met her, she's so lovely. I also think I'm going to watch a lot of interviews by her and stuff like that because she's just incredible and her books are definitely in my style. Even though, like I said, I have not read 
this one but I do believe I'm gonna love it I do think I'm gonna love it so yeah <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed this video if you read The Doll Factory or Circus of Wonders please let me know what you thought of it I absolutely love The Doll Factory um so yeah if you like this video please like and subscribe and I will definitely see you in the next video thank you for watching bye